this video I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how you can create your own banners. Uh, first thing you need to do is download a program called paint.net and you can see the website at the bottom of the video. Now, once you've downloaded and installed that, this and open it up, this is what you're going to see. Now to create our banner, the first thing we need to do is to set the size. Normally you're going to want a banner about 125 pixels high and anywhere from 650 to 750 characters wide. So let's just go in here to image, go to canvas size, and then we'll do a width and a height. So let's make this 650. And we'll get rid of this making aspect ratio by 125. Click OK. We now have our banner background or our banner size sitting here. Now from here there are several things we could do. We can add a picture to it and put some text on it. We could just make it a certain color and I'll show you how to do a few of these things. Now if we wanted our background is to have a certain color to it, what we would do is we would add a layer and some colors. So we're going to do everything in layers. So let's go to layers, add a new layer. You'll see the layer pops up on the block over here. It says layer 2 and we have a little box that pops up here. So a new image, new canvas size, new layer. This is our history box. Let's put that back. Not sure why it's doing that. Okay, so what we can do here is we can go ahead and use some of the tools on the side here. Now what we're going to do, we're going to use the paintbrush and we're going to give this a background color now. So what we can do is just pick one off the wheel that we like or we can click more and we can expand it here and there's a different way to choose colors but you can pick your color from here by clicking on one of these, clicking inside the wheel, putting the color code in here however you want to do it. I'm just going to pick this color as an example so I pick, push the paint fill or the bucket fill which is this one and you can just hold your mouse over any of these tools and if we just click in there you'll see that we now have a colored background. 